Hi, welcome back. There's lots on YouTube giving tips on bare root roses. There's not much explaining some of the problems you encounter when planting them out and how to deal with them. This topic will be broken into two parts. In part one, I'll look at what bare root roses are, the problems you can encounter in planting them, and what to do about it. You can watch this video by clicking on the above link. In this video, part two, I'll follow up showing you from some real life examples how you can turn your struggling roses into healthy specimens ready to be planted out, following the tips given in plant part one. These roses we planted out last year, the position they were planted was nestled in a border between a U hedge around 1.2 meters tall and a box hedge about 30 centimeters tall. The garden is open and sunny, so we thought there should be no problem with the light levels. Bare root roses, once planted, only consisted of 30 centimetre stems protruding from the ground and were not able to compete nestled in this position for any sunlight. You can see them here, they look very weak and have put on no growth. And it's easy to think that you have been sold some dud roses. This is not the case. We dug them out, repotted them, and moved them into a spot where they could bask in direct sunlight and kept them well watered. Before I go any further, take a moment to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. It's easy to lose contact in the world of YouTube. By subscribing, you'll be notified of future gardening videos that I put out. Here are the roses. Two weeks later, you can see they've greened up and generally look healthier. Here they are four weeks later. They now have more height and foliage and are in a much better position to compete and capture the sunlight and in a much better position to be planted out into the garden around the other farm. 